Derek Spallone. Glad to be alongside Bobby Portis of the Chicago Bulls. Bobby, how are you feeling today, man? Feeling good, man. What about you? Doing well, man. I appreciate you taking the time out and just first and foremost here at your basketball camp. Pretty good turnout, man. What has this experience been like for you thus far and just having the opportunity to give back to the kids? It's always fun, man, to come back and get back to the community. You know, I have these counts back home as well. It's my first time doing it in this area in Chicago. But, um, you know, it's, it's fun, though, you know, to see the kids, see their smiles on their face and you know, see them see them in here working as hard as they can. So, you know, I have a blast every time I do it. And how neat is it now to have that impact not only in Illinois, or excuse me, not only in your hometown in, in Little Rock, but also here in Illinois? It's fun, man, you know, just coming here and, you know, work with the kids and, you know, see them coming here working so hard to, you know, get better at basketball. You know, that's always been my dream to give back to kids. And, you know, it's paying off now. Uh, you know, I see little kids going in here, going hard as they can, sweating. And, you know, that's, that's something I always wanted to do. Because, you know, when I was a kid, I had guys like Derek Fisher and Cordy right. Williamson have camps back in my hometown. So it's, it's, always a, it's always a blast. Do you remember the type of impact those guys and their camps had on you? Yeah, I do. I remember going to their camps each and every year, you know, couldn't wait for the summertime to come to go to the camps because I had so much fun, me and my friends going, and, you know, we got better there. And, you know, they used to always talk at the end of the camps, and, you know, we ask questions and they answer them. And, you know, those, 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 those little things, you know, really helped me get to where I was at. And, and as someone growing up who had a dream of becoming a professional athlete and achieve that goal, what is your message to the youth when it comes down to setting goals and taking steps towards achieving their goals? Yeah, you know, um, just always, always plan ahead. Um, always, you know, always write your goals down to achieve them. Um, that's something that I really started doing probably around my ninth grade year in high school. I started writing my goals down so I can see them, so I can know, you know, what I, uh, so I can know what I want to achieve. And you know, I start start targeting those goals and I start achieving them. And you know, it's been working ever since. I still do it to this day. And you know, just stay confident in everything you're doing. You know, be more dedicated than ever because you know, there's always somebody out there working hard. You try to work harder than everybody else, and everything can take care of itself. Is there a biggest life? lesson that you've learned through your respective experiences up to this point uh, in your life and in your career? Yeah, you know, just being patient. Um, everything doesn't really come, you know, at, at, at one step in life. Uh, everything takes time. You know, you have to be patient in, in this game of basketball because, you know, obviously everybody's journey is going to be different. You know, some player might get drafted hard. Some player might, you know, be better to at a certain given time. But you know, if you just stay patient, you know, believe in your craft, work at your craft, and, you know, work as hard as you can and you know trust in God and everything will come full circle it's kind of staying the course like you said and having yeah. faith and it's funny because people always mention you know what do you where do you see yourself five years from now but when you reflect on the last five years of your life yeah. high school college NBA yeah. is this so nostalgic feeling for you like wow how it's how it's just come full circle yeah it's crazy man um, you know five years ago yeah. um, five years ago in 2013 um, I had just you know graduated high school right. And um, I had just, um, you know, I'm in, I'm in Arkansas now and you know, going to the University of Arkansas in the summertime taking summer classes. And, you know, now five years later, I'm in Chicago doing counts for kids. So, yeah. you know, it's crazy how, so, how sometimes, you know, you just, you know, be patient with it, um, dedicate yourself to your craft and, you know, just work hard. And, you know, all your dreams will come true. Yeah, all it takes is you know, a little work and, and motivation and faith and your whole life could change, right? Yeah, so it's crazy, sure. man. And I want to transition a bit here the season. Uh, very young, up and coming, exciting team. I know a yes. couple of new uh, acquisitions over the off season and during the draft. Uh, what are your expectations this year? Um, big expectations. You know, obviously, you know we want to be a playoff team this year. Right. Uh, you know, we feel as though the East is wide open, yeah. um, and um, we feel like that we can be in that mix of the playoff team. You know, obviously, you know it's going to be always going to be a grind, always going to be you know ups and downs during the season. But you know, I feel like with the I feel like with the with the team that we have with the talent and you know hard working guys on our roster I feel like we can make that run yeah. and, and I know each year you've developed here in your own game what are some goals you've set for yourself coming into this season for your own personal development um you know I want to be six man in the year right um you know I've said that numerous times but you know, I feel like it's the amount of work I put in each and every day um really it's going to help me prepare to be there and um you know I work as hard as I can each and every day on my craft um because you know the game in basketball is about getting better each and every year. It's about trending in the right direction. And, uh, and I feel like each and every year I've shown that. So and I feel like uh, that's one of my goals this year individually. But, you know, like I said, team goals, I want to be in the playoffs. So, um, I, got a, I, got a, I, got, I got my first taste of playoff basketball my second season. And uh, I want to get back to that. Yeah. There's no doubt about it with your guys' work ethic. I'm, I'm sure it'll come right around the corner, man. And before we let you go, I got to ask, aside from basketball, what's one thing about Bobby Portis that not many people know that you can share with us, maybe a special hobby or interest uh, aside from the game? 
I mean, I love, I love, I love bowling. Uh, okay. Bowling has been one of my biggest hobbies, you know, for about eight, nine years okay. now. Um, I've been bowling every every day in the summertime. Um, back home, me and my friends go. We bet on bowling, no money, just push-ups. Right. If, if you lose, you have to do ten push-ups. You know, I feel like that hurts more than giving up money because you know, when you're on the ground and, and then and the camera's on you and, and, and you're telling your, your friend, yeah. uh, that really hurts. So, you know, we bet push-ups every time we go and, you know, it's a it's a competition thing. So, you know, it builds it builds a friend a, a, a stronger friendship yeah. and it brings um, and it brings competition to the board as well. So how many push-ups have you had to do? Have you are you not losing often or you No, nah, yeah. I don't really lose okay. often but like when I do everybody goes crazy. Okay. And <laughs> everybody records me, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. records me, so yeah. it's fun though. Yeah, not sweet. Have you got a three hundred game or what's your what's your closest? Uh, my closest I have is um, two sixty three. Okay. Wow. And um, you know it was it was crazy. I I I, I have the screen I have the screenshot of my phone. Okay. Because you know, I was when I went nuts that game. I had like seven strikes in a row, yeah. starting off, and then I got too happy and I messed it up. Man, it's yeah. all, that's still very impressive though. Yeah. 263. That's that's hard to get to in general, man. So yeah. seven strikes in a row is uh, pretty incredible, man. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure you'll get there soon enough. But yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> hey, man. But Derek's blown, Bobby Portis. I really appreciate your time, Thank you, man. man. Thank you. Thank you.